Hey, I'm Scott Hanselman. I'm here with my boss, Scott Hunter. Uh, we are collectively the lesser Scots at Microsoft because we work for Scott Guthrie. Yeah. Because you have to be named Scott if you want to work at Microsoft. If you want to move up in this company, you have to be named Scott. And also, if you're uh, named Scott and you want to become an MVP, plus three points for you. A lot of people have changed their name to Scott to become MVPs as well. The number of submissions we had last year were insane. All Scots. Scots. Yes, that's true. Not true at all. Anyone can become an MVP. And actually, we're making a change to the MVP program. An awesome change to the MVP program. One, one of the things that the ASP.NET team is really proud of is we've been doing a lot of open source work the last two years or so. We take all of our frameworks, MVC, Web API, SignalR, uh, and made them open source. Mm -hmm. uh, and we want to embrace that community even more. Right. right? And MVPs are, are known for their kind of their activism and their enthusiasm and their speaking and their books and their blogging. We want to make sure that if you're doing open source, you are also recognized as an MVP. Speaking in books and out, outreach and user groups are also valuable and open source contributions. And there's a balance there. If you do only open source and no speaking, that's fine. That's fine. If you only do speaking, that's cool too. But open source is now a big, big part of what we're doing. So we want it to be a big, big part of what makes a good ASP.NET MVP. Yep. Thanks. We hope you guys like the change.